Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillah. Is that late? Oh man, Amar made sure that I would remind everybody about um, giving some props to the um, the poets, inshallah. Allah, Allah, inshallah. Uh, I'm going to share two pieces and then Amar is going to come up and he's going to close out. Um, these two pieces are from the album, inshallah, that I will be releasing soon, hopefully within the next two weeks, um, entitled um, Bil Qalam by the Pen. And this particular poem is called Versus the World. Flipping through the pages of the scripture. Trying to find my place in the bigger picture. I figure if revelation was meant to guide man to his purpose, then my destiny must be written in one of Allah's verses. And so I'm nervous from a punishment that's so severe, but steady treading a thin line between hope and fear, because though the road is straight, no man ever really knows his fate, nor the load that his soul can take before he's left with a broken slate. And many do deeds that'll hold no weight. Case closed on your soul and there's no escape. I just pray I get through before they close the gates. And I'm chosen to sit amongst those who Allah shows his face. For the pharaohs that I loathe and the stones that I break. For the prophets that I love and their foes that I hate. For the orphans that I clothe and the cold they escape. For the poor and the hungry and the old and the late. For every person that I know with a soul full of faith. For the heads that are bowed and the roads that are straight. For the sake of Allah and I long for his grace. For only in his word does my soul feel safe. And when I read, I see much more than just creed. It's more like living a life written with tajweed. Every breath is a sign, so remember to take heed. The Quran is alive. This ain't make-believe. And you can give them the truth, but you can't make them believe. Oppression in the ink making the pages bleed. Put the rage in the cage or the hatred breeds. Transgression on the brink looking for a place to feed. But the hunger of the fast overtakes the greed. Another verse come to pass, another fate decreed. Another hearse on the way, another family grieves. The hardship proceeds, then comes the ease. But people forget Allah when the tribulation leaves and it's back to the dunya when the pain's relieved. The afterlife is a reality we can't conceive. Temporary is this world, but man is deceived. What you send forth from this world is what your hands receive. So wear his commands like cuffs until your hands are freed. And as for me, I could be anywhere in the book, seeing the signs of Allah everywhere that I look, every chapter, every ayah, every line that he put. History repeats, man, I'm living in the time of Lut. Nowhere in his people, Ibrahim and Nemrut. And tomorrow I could be Eunice in the belly of the hood or taking on a tyrant. David and Goliath, I'm the stone that was thrown to take down the giant, the road that I'm following. Both old and modern, on roads like scrolls and leads to the throne of Solomon. Behold, in my hold is the sword of an Ottoman, poet by trade, but there's a warrior inside of him. Laughing at these sorcerers, people won't behave, so I might disappear like the people of the cave, getting deeper in the page, but I'm trying to stay afloat. Am I the boat that was scuttled or the scuttle in the boat? The wall that was built or the boy that was killed or the people in the town that was destined to keep it? There's a king on my course, taking ships by force, and God can make God still oppressing the poor. Where's Dul Karnain and the rest of them boys? Can't you see the whole world is infested with wars? Got to listen real close to hear the messenger's voice saying victory is written. So let the believers rejoice. Allahu <laughs> Akbar. All right, real quick. <laughs> Jersey City, that's all I got to say. Alhamdulillah. Uh, quickly, inshallah, this poem is actually dedicated to the women of my life. Uh, my mother, who's in the back. Um, my wife, my daughter, my sister, Saida, and all of my sisters in Islam, alhamdulillah. And it is entitled, Umahat al-Mu'mineen, Mothers of the Believers. Imagine if you were Hajjah, running back and forth between Safa and Marwa in the hottest place on the earth, searching for water, Imagine your son dying of thirst in the absence of his father just to save his life. 
what would you offer? Would you hold on to your faith or would you falter before he ever gets the chance to help his father build the Kaaba, before he ever sees the day that he agrees to be slaughtered? I wonder in our weakness how many dreams that we've altered. Now imagine the army of Pharaoh as it slowly approaches. Time is running short and you're the mother of Moses. You hear a knock at the door and for a moment you're hopeless, afraid for your child and unable to focus. Would you give in to the pressure and willingly surrender? Or would you put your trust in Allah and put the baby in the river? What if you give him to a tyrant and he never parted the sea and he never lives to see the day that he would set you free and we know everything happens by Allah's decree. But if we don't do the right things, then where would we be? So many young men with their futures unwritten and what would they become without dedicated women? I've seen so many die without ever really living so I gotta thank my mother for everything she's given, the sacrifices that she made just to carry on tradition, and the zamzam she gave wasn't water, it was wisdom. See, I too was born in a time when they were burying their children, given to society, then buried in the system. So many Yusufs that never had a vision, so many Ibrahims that never had dreams. He could have been Musa, raised amongst kings, or maybe Ismail, made to birth springs. And so many young women with the potential of Mary, give it up in a hurry and give up on getting married, could have been Khadija, mother of the believers. And it takes a strong woman to raise up a leader. We need more Fatimas, we need more Aishas, we need more Zainabs, we need more Asiyas, Sumeya, Ruqayya, women of prayer. Before you start mimicking other women, you should remember Nusayba, not willing to waver, and not many were braver. And when Asma was nearly in labor, she would still walk five miles to deliver the favor. Remember what they gave without any ambition of getting paid so men like me could be raised and saved and raised up to give praise and behave like a grateful slave. So when women enter the premises, then lower your gaze. And that's for the one who was made from my rib cage. I wage war until her tears fade, trying to balance the world on her shoulder blades. You got to follow that path down that road they paved, because every time you raise a soldier, more souls get saved. I said every time you raise a soldier, more souls get saved, and we could never repay you for what you carry in your womb. I mean, how could we ever build an ummah if we never had an um? How could we ever build an ummah? if we never had an um. Jazakumullahu khairan. I told Ibrahim, I was like, yo, don't worry, let me, I'll follow you, I'll follow you. It's no problem. Alhamdulillah. So when's that album coming out again? Two weeks, Two weeks inshallah? Okay. So, I'm gonna do one piece inshallah, and this is a piece that I wrote in Ramadan. And I just, I had a moment where I thought of uh, Taraweeh, and Taraweeh is a very emotional experience, especially the Witir Dua. And so I wanted to write something in English that captures, as best as I could, captures the spirit of what is said in the Witir Dua for those who are not familiar with the Arabic tongue. And so I'll be reading the Dua, inshallah. Feel free to say Ameen after it. O oh Allah, guide us amongst those you've guided. And grant us health amongst those you've granted health to. And protect us amongst those you've protected. And bless us in what has been given to us by you. And protect us from any evil you've decreed. For you decree in truth, and none can decree over you. None can disgrace who you support, and none can honor who you oppose. You are the blessed and the exalted. O oh Allah, to you belongs all praise. You are the Lord of the heavens and earth and what is between them, so to you is thanks and praise. You are the light of the heavens and earth, so to you is thanks and praise. You are the maintainer of the heavens and earth, so to you is thanks and praise. 
You are the truth and your speech is true and your promise is true and paradise is true and the fire is true and the prophets are true and Muhammad is true. Oh Allah, we've submitted to you and believe in you and depend on you and repent to you and refer back to you, seek judgment from you. So grant us forgiveness from you for our past sins and the new. Those hidden and evident, from all of them we repent and from those we've forgotten while you knew. Oh Allah, we ask you paradise and will bring us close to it of actions and speech. And we seek refuge in you from the fire and what will bring us close to it of actions and speech. Oh Allah, you are the most merciful of those ask and the most generous of those who give, the sustainer of everything and you alone ever live. You who hears what we do not hear, you who sees what we do not see, you who changes the universe by simply saying be. We don't have the ability to praise you, you are as you praised yourself. We thank you for our families, our faith, our health and wealth. We declare you to be our Lord with no ilahs other than you. You created us, we are your slaves and fulfill our pledge to you. We seek refuge in you from the sins that we commit. Your blessings cannot be counted, your favors we all admit. We also confess our sins and ask you for your forgiveness. For none forgives sins except for you. Oh Allah, you are forgiving, you love to forgive, so forgive me. Oh Allah, you are forgiving, you love to forgive, so forgive me. Oh Allah, you are forgiving, you love to forgive, so forgive me. We seek refuge in you from a heart that is not tumbled. We seek refuge in you from a heart that is not humbled and an eye that does not tear. Knowledge that doesn't benefit, a prayer not lifted near. O oh Allah, make the Qur'an the spring of our hearts and the light of our chests, the remover of our sadness, the repeller of our stress. Teach us what we don't know and remind us what we've forgotten and grant us the ability to recite throughout the day and the night. O oh Allah, our hearts are vessels that carry our faith. May you always have our hearts seeking your face. For every heart attached to something appointed to other than you will undoubtedly be disappointed. O oh Allah, we ask you for all good good now and good later, and what we know to be good and what we don't. And we seek refuge from all evil, evil now and evil later, and what we know to be evil and what we don't. O oh Allah, guide for us our youth, bring them to the truth, protect them from influences that would cause them to be misled, forgive our parents and our grandparents, and have mercy on our debt. Remove from us the overpowering of men and the overburdening of debt. Give us success, remove our stress, marry our bachelors and bachelorettes. Grant our students the ability to excel in deen and dunya and doubts and desires repel. O oh Allah, free our prisoners. O oh Allah, free our prisoners and bring them back to their families safe and secure. Heal our sick from all ailments. You alone are the one to cure. O oh Allah, we seek your protection from being tested and security for our family in the land that you made blessed. Suri and Palestine, they are hungry, so feed them, naked, so clothe them, barefoot, so carry them, terrified, so console them, protect them from all directions as people of belief, replace them courage for their fear, exhilaration for their grief, have mercy on their deceased, protect their sons and their daughters, give them swift victory and accept their martyrs. Have mercy on our family in Burma and remove from them oppression, remove from them their sadness and punish those who oppress them. They have no state to support them, no ummah behind them, no land to accept them, no one to carry them. It is them and you, Ya Rabb, you are their only supporter and their only hope. All avenues are shut for them except your door that doesn't close. O oh Allah, have mercy on our teachers, those who showed us the way to you. Overlook their faults and make them and us guided and guiding of others and have mercy on our friends and brothers and everyone who requested our prayers. Forgive all of their sins and correct all of their affairs. There is nothing that allows us to have the ability to stand before you with all of our shortcomings and faults except what you've taught us of your forgiveness. There is nothing that allows us. There is nothing that allows our feet to carry us in your presence with all of our sins and mistakes except what you've taught us of your mercy. If your mercy is only for the righteous, then who is for the broken weighed down by their sins? Standing before you seeking forgiveness, repentance, a new journey to forgive. Forgive us and our parents and our children and all of the believing men and women. Who is the one who asked you and was left wanting? Who is the one who depended on you and was not carried? Who is the one who had hope in you and was disappointed? O oh Allah, make us people of paradise and protect us from the fire. We seek refuge in your face from being of the people of the fire. Protect us, our families, and our ummah from all evil and heal the hearts of a believing people. Allahumma.